This accusation that flat earthers are stupid is the opposite. Flat earthers are some of the most, in, most intelligent, smart, independent, critical thinking people I have ever met. I'm one of them. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm certainly not stupid. I'm an author. I have books by major publishing companies selling in many countries and languages around the world. I used to travel and fly almost every week somewhere teaching. So my research led me to other people like uh, David Weiss and oh man, some of the podcasts you did back then, David. This is the YouTuber and TikToker Ahoa from Florida. And we will have a look at some short clips from his channel. And as usual, prepare yourself for a real dumpster fire. First, we will listen to him explaining why he did be or become a flat earther. Prepare yourself for a real dumpster fire. I'm just gonna share my testimony, my experience of how I got into flat earth and my journey over the last about seven years now. It started for me in 2017. A Navy pilot came into my place of business and through the sales process and building rapport and asking him questions about himself, he told me that he had been flying in the Navy for five years in Antarctica. And I said, you probably have some stories you could tell, huh? And he said, you have no idea and kind of smirked at me. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'll just tell you that Antarctica is not what they teach you it is in school. It's not an ice continent on the bottom of a ball. So that sparked a very interesting conversation, a conversation that actually changed the course of my life. Do he really think that someone believes that story? A pilot in the US Navy have worked five years in Antarctica. I see several problems with that one. First, let's pretend that the flat earths are correct. Antarctica is an ice wall surrounding the world and it's secret, a top secret guarded by militaries. And then a former pilot in the US Navy meets someone at his work, they don't know each other, and he tells him the big secret. This person that have in videos mentioned his real name with picture of himself is presenting this story that the pilot told him. The flat earth fantasies about this was a real fighter pilot that told him this story. What do you think would happen? One late night it would knock on your door and you would get to answer several questions about this pilot. But you don't have to worry. Nobody will knock on your door because of this. And the reason to that is very simple. There are only two possible reasons. You lied so there are no fighter pilot. Or the so-called pilot fooled you big time. I went to YouTube, which is where he told me to go look. In 2017, you could find a lot of good things. You could find a lot of good channels, content creators for Flat Earth. So the idea that the Earth being flat was new to me. Here I am my whole life. I, at the time, I guess I was 46 years old or so. I'm 52 now. And I thought, really? The, the, Earth, is, the Earth can't be flat. There's no way. So I started looking into it. I watched some of the documentaries from back then, uh, like ODD TV and uh, Sean Hibbler and the, the, the Truth Does Not Fear Investigation, part one and part two. Those are excellent. Um, but I said, well, what about this? And what about this? And what about this? You know, it's totally normal, totally typical to have a whole bunch of questions when you first hear that the earth might be flat and stationary. So my research led me to other people like uh, David Weiss and oh, man, some of the podcasts you did back then, David. You're a patient man. I don't know that I could put up with some of those globe trolls like you did, but they were educational for me. Uh, another one was Ben of Taboo Conspiracy. You know, it's weird because Ben has a Juris Doctorate and two master's degrees. <laughs> another person I learned from was Eddie Allen Carr of the Flat Earth Banjo USA Japan channel. He's also the author of 16 Emergency Landings Proving flat earth. He has a master's degree in emergency management and all the things he had to learn and study to get that master's degree. You know so according to this flurf, 
looking at videos from ODD, Hibler Production, David Wise, Taboo Conspiracy and Flat Earth Banjo is doing research. In reality, all of those fools have debun been debunked so many times. You know, this accusation that flat earthers are stupid and broke and live in their mama's basement, it's the opposite. Just like the earth is not spinning and it's not curved, the opposite is it's flat and it's stationary. This accusation that flat earthers are stupid is the opposite. Flat earthers are some of the most, in, most intelligent, smart, independent, critical thinking people I have ever met. I'm one of them. I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm certainly not stupid. I'm an author. I have books by major publishing companies selling in many countries and languages around the world. I used to travel and fly almost every week somewhere teaching at a business event or a church. I've been in many churches, even churches like Greg's. Oh dear. If you think you're doing research when watching videos from those fools he mentioned before, you are really, really stupid. To have education examiner don't prove that you're not a fool. Let's move on to some parts from some videos where he tries to prove flat earth. All his ordinary videos he does in the same way as CC from his car. Good morning. Aloha from Florida. So a few years ago now a fighter pilot came out and said yeah I know the earth is flat. Uh, he did an interview with Ben of Taboo Conspiracy and Bob Nodal of Globebusters at the time. One of his main proofs was his radar. And he gave a challenge to other younger fighter pilots and said, please go out and run your radar out 80 miles and see that that bottom altitude does not change. At 80 miles, the bottom altitude would be about 4,000 feet lower than the altitude of where the aircraft is now. So he said, absolutely, the radar system is was designed to work only on a flat and stationary Earth. I love it when flurfs who don't have any experience of radars think they know how they work. In reality, all radars have a horizon because of Earth curvature. If this so-called F-16 pilot would have been a real fighter pilot, he had trained in tactics, for instance, attacking like my warship. They are using the horizon when they are attacking. A good example is this ship. This is the UK warship HMS Sheffield. She was sank by the Argentinians during the Falklands War and the attack was conducted very close to the water so they was hidden as long as possible from the ship's radar and then they rise up so the ship sent the anti-ship missiles and went down again hiding under the curvature of the earth. Good morning, aloha from Florida. Just want to say thank you to Eddie Allen Carr, the author of 16 Emergency Landings That Prove Flat Earth. I just got the book recently. Uh, it's an awesome book. It's large. It's got lots of colorful, very highly resoluted pictures in it. Uh, the shirt I got from him, the Gleason's map. Let's talk about that for a minute. Globe trolls, page shills, want to say, you guys are so stupid, you don't even know that the map you use is a projection of a globe. Now, it says projection right there of a person, as in projecting a movie onto a screen or projecting information onto a medium such as a flat surface. And this flat author claims that he's not the fool. But the Gleason's map is a asimutal map projection of a globe. But who is surprised? This man do his research at Dirt and Taboo Conspiracies channels. Uh, did you hear what the scientist or the artist, not scientist, the artist at NASA said about his blue marble? They took a flat map. And once again, a lie. He didn't say that they used flat maps to make the blue marble and wrapped it around a ball. It is Photoshop because it has to be. I don't know if you have listened to this interview with him or 
if you are too stupid to understand what was said. They had to stitch together several exposes because the satellite that took the photos was so close to the Earth, so they couldn't see the whole globe in one exposure. Come on, you globe trolls and page shills are really desperate when you want to say this map is a globe projection. Have you ever looked at a globe projection? Why don't you go look at a dozen globe projection maps and compare them to this map that's on my chest and see that this is not a globe projection. This is a projection onto a surface, onto a medium, done by a person. Oh dear, so stupid. All map projections are made by people. And still, it is a map projection of a globe. Oh dear, that was really, really stupid. I'm tired of this nonsense and these lies. A man who thinks he's smart and still he uses snake oil salesman David Wise taboo conspiracy and flatters Banyu as sources when he do his own research. Oh dear. Thank you everybody helping me, helping Ukraine. I have got several donations the last days to my PayPal and I will buy more Kamikaze drones. Thank you very much. And all revenues from the channel goes to buying normal drones. That was all I had for you today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe, hit like become a member or come back next time I'm showing a video. Have a great day, see you soon.